it's August 10th, about 10 a.m. right now. We have plans to see the panorama, which is like the huge mural painting. It's from the Kostyushka uprising. There was like a battle. They painted that as a monument for it. We're also gonna go see the mall probably. It's just like a huge little mall, huge little mall. We're gonna go see Main Square as well. Also, can I just say we're all really tired after Krakow because with trains and everything, like my brain is still pretty whack, but holding up pretty well considering we got like two hours of sleep the past 24 hours. Yesterday, we were up there, that little penthouse. My grandma has a friend, so her grandson took us up there. We're waiting for my cousin to get his hair done and then we're leaving soon. We headed along the Oder River like we usually did for our walks and then made our way over to the Panorama. When we got there, the tickets were actually sold out until about 5 p.m. So we did have a few hours ahead of us before we actually got into the viewing. There's a small museum by my grandma's house, so we decided to give that a go while we waited. And honestly, it's just a pretty building itself and the monuments inside are pretty interesting to look at. There were carvings and paintings in there that ranged anywhere from 300 to 3,000 years old, so the culture change was cool to see as well. Looking at the different statues they have, some of them are like thousands of years old. Now, I'm no art geek, but this painting blew my mind because every little detail of every single person's face in this painting was done pretty spot on. Same thing went for this painting over here, which I thought was a picture at first. As you move towards the end of the museum, you get towards the more modern centuries, which I thought was a nice setup of the museum because you're kind of going from old to new as you walk through the area. After the museum, we headed out for lunch, so we tried this place called Max Burgers, which I thought was delicious. I actually got fries there that I enjoyed, and to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of fries, but I did like them from there. After that, we just grabbed some quick coffee and headed out towards the panorama. Now this painting is like nothing I've ever seen before. First of all, it looks super realistic and it's a 360 view so it goes all around for people to walk along and see. What makes it even better is that there are actually real dried up plants along the bottom and the artist designed this so they would blend into the painting and make it even more realistic than it already is. There must be something bad now keep in mind that this is a painting that was brought from Germany to Wrocław after World War II so it does have quite a few years. The subject was considered politically sensitive under the communist regime, so the efforts to have the canvas restored were undertaken and successful around 1980. Until this day, it remains the main tourist attraction of the city of Wrocław. We walked around the city for a bit and then after a long night of walking, it was time to get ready for the next day. We woke up to a beautiful sunny morning and most things were closed so we headed for the man-made beach and then church afterwards. There must be something bad You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Let me paint on our way to church right now at the cathedral. Um, we might be able to get on top of it as well. The building behind me has really cool architecture. Um, they have a really nice green cafe with like natural ice cream and stuff. And I love the wall. It's very textured and cool for pictures. Just hold me down like that. We went out for ice cream afterwards, which was crazy because we went to the same booth that my family would go to when I was three and nine years old, so it was just a little taste of nostalgia. 
There's a nice hotel right next to the cathedral so we went inside to take some pictures and look around, kind of remember how it used to be in the past as well. Once you get to meet her, she's a Mona Lisa. I always enjoy looking at the fish and honestly pretty cool bathrooms too, not gonna lie. Oh my god, shut the fuck up, I ain't hearing what you gotta say What the deal, how you feel, not important All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsches The cathedral behind me is probably like 2,000-ish years old And I'm surprised that it's still in its shape because it's really beautiful inside The copper is kind of green, but it's really, really pretty it's like a mini Vatican because the buildings are so old and it's its own little secluded area. Especially with the sun today, it just looks so beautiful. That's where we go on walks and stuff and then the main squares over there it was my cousin's last night in poland so to celebrate we went out for pizza which is kind of like a tradition in our family and once we had that we went home and went to bed for another day Oh my god, shut the fuck up, I ain't hearing what you gotta say What the deal, how you feel? We're gonna walk around and then I'm going to the botanical gardens with my other grandparents Acting like you know me, that's the worst shit I know am I For breakfast today we're at Green Bean I ordered some scrambled eggs and we also have like a bacon sandwich on the side which is pretty cool I like the feel of this place and then we're gonna be off to explore more around the city we're at the sky tower right now it's nothing too big compared to the towers in chicago but something to see as we were buying our tickets we noticed that they were sold out until the next morning so since we had to go back we just had a snack and went to the zoo instead It's raining, we're trying to buy tickets for the tramway, but the machine to buy the ticket is closed, but we got some really good soup. They have edible cups with spinach and whole grain things. I got some lentil soup, so time to try it. The rain kind of caught us, but we're at the zoo right now. My favorite part of the zoo was this aquatic center and that's because they would bring in rescues from oceans and lakes and drop them off to this huge tank I guess and then they would bring them out into the wildlife once they were I guess restored or back to their normal selves again. We had some dinner and explored the zoo for almost the rest of the day. The butterfly garden was our last location and then I headed to my other grandparents house to switch things up a bit and prepare for the botanical gardens and things that we were going to visit tomorrow. All of the following videos from our travels will be posted into a playlist so if you guys want to keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!